Hello everyone and thanks for stopping by, Dom here and today I'd like to share a story with you. So a week ago I was at this massive show here in London called BBC Introducing. So BBC Introducing is organized by BBC itself and it's a show where everyone in the music industry can gather and go to seminars, workshops, there are quite a few famous producers in this show, there are companies so you can go and check out the gear. So I was there for all three days of BBC Introducing and I had the chance to speak to hundreds of people, lots of people, right? BBC introducing, baby. Nice and bright. Now the common problem that I identified amongst all these people was that they were struggling inputting chords inside their DAW. So this was more of a problem for people that are not players and they don't necessarily have music theory or music harmony knowledge, which is totally fine. You can do great music without having this knowledge. But most of them were coming to me and they were like, okay, you know what? If I want to input a C minor chord, I'm basically grabbing my pencil tool and I drag a C, then I Google it and then I find that the next Next note is E flat, then I Google again, and the next note is G, and then if I want a seventh, it's B flat, and so on and so forth. And honestly, I find this so painful to watch, you know. I watch many music YouTubers that they produce songs and they basically do tutorials and they do the same thing. Basically, they go and draw in every single note of the chord. This is just not creative, it's time consuming, it's boring, it's really really boring and it just drains the creativity out of you in my opinion. So in this video I'm going to show you once and for all what's the fastest, the absolute fastest way to input chords into your DAW without being a keyboard player. Let me show you. What most people do is they go like this, they go on their DW and they say, okay, I want to create a C minor chord. I'm sure you've seen this countless times, but I'm gonna show you anyway. So they go like, okay, so C and then E flat, okay. And then maybe if I want a seventh, okay. Oh, no, sorry, it wasn't right. Let's go down, you know, it's so slow. And even if people are fast, it's still painful to watch, like seriously. So, they go like this. Okay, now I want an F. I want to copy this and then I'm going to F. Okay. Boring, slow. I know that sometimes it's the only option, but in Cubase, I'll show you what you can do. This is a Cubase thing, and if you guys think it's uh, possible in other DWs, just let me know, but this is what I would do. So this is the first way to input chords super, super fast. Let's say you want to write a chord in A minor, C minor, whatever. Just grab a chord here, see, we have chord editing right here on the inspector. Okay, and now I can say, great, I want to start with a D minor. Done. Now I want to go to G minor, right? And then A. And now I can play it back. And then I want D again, boom, N no copying, no pasting, it's really that fast. Now, do you want a minor with a seventh? You can just go like this. Okay, minor seventh, let's go minor seventh. Now, do you want to change the chords at the very beginning? Let's say you want to have a D minor sixth, you go like this. Great, do you want a minor with a major seventh? You can do that, you can go like this, change all the chords, whatever you want. You can, you can do this instantly, see? Now the other thing you can do is you can even change the inversions of the chords, so it doesn't stop there. You know, you might change, you might find that the voicing is not right. You can just go here and say, okay, I want um, like a minor seventh chord, maybe I want an F minor. See, I can do this, but now I can change the inversions. <laughs> Without even lifting a finger, I see people going like, oh, okay, I want to change the inversion. They have to do like 50 clicks to get to the other inversion, if they get it right the first time. So that's the quickest way 
to get your chords up and running. Because most of the times what you have, what I find most electronic music producers do is they have a loop like this one. And then when they want to create their chords, it takes a lot of time. So this is the first way. Now the second way is also very cool. You can create a chord track in Cubase. So you can go here, add a track, and you might want to go ahead and add a chord track. See, it's right there. So now what you can do is you can say, okay, I want to start creating my chords without even going into the key editor. Let me show you. Let's go like this. Let's say I want another chord here, there, like that. And now I can select the chords. So basically I can say, okay, my first chord is going to be an E minor seventh. So if I activate a track now, if I record enable an instrument, I can say, listen to this, you know, I can immediately have feedback. Okay, let's go to the second chord and maybe now I can add a C major uh, seven, maybe with a major seven. And then maybe I want to go for um, an A minor chord. Let's go like that, A minor. And then maybe for this one, I want to have like a B minor seven with a ninth, you know, complex chords. Let's go like this. And then if I want to, if I want to change the groove, I can just move them around, you know. Done. I have my arrangement right there without clicking a million times. Now, you might say, this is not MIDI though, Dom. What do I do if I want this in MIDI? It couldn't be easier. Just grab the chords here, see, and then drop them into the channel that you want. Boom. Not only you have the chords now, see, like you want them, you also have a MIDI event named after the chord, so you can't miss it in the arrangement. You might want to use this A minor somewhere else, you know? You can go like this, move it somewhere else. Y you know, why would you go and go, okay, one, two, this is slow, guys, it's slowing you down. So, um, the third way and the most fun way that you can do this, again, inside Cubase, Everything that I'm showing you is inside Cubase, but this is the DAW that does this. I haven't found anything else on another DAW. So, um, the other way you can do this is you can say, I want to work with my chord pads. And the chord pads live right here. So if you click this button here, you can go to your chord pads, and here you can find chords, and you can change those chords like you can do with the chord track. See, you can basically go here and say, I want to make this a uh, major uh, seventh chord. And now you can trigger these chords on your keyboard like this. So now you can actually record this. So if I click record, So, as you can see, it recorded everything, like a keyboard player played these notes, but you were only pressing one note at a time. So, then once you do this, it's very easy to have this MIDI file and edit it, change stuff around, move stuff around, copy things. Everything is right there though, you don't have to, you know, struggle to find the chords. Now, the other thing you can do is, of course, you can change the chords after the fact, and you can ask Cubase to tell you what chords you played on each part. So basically I can go here, select this MIDI event and go chord pads, chord track, create chord symbols. And now, as you can see, here are all the chords that I played. And I can reuse these chords for other tracks. So three ways you can input your chords super, super fast. Now, again, let's go back to the original way that you would do it, that most people do it. Imagine if you had to do all this just by clicking and dragging every single note of the chord. I think that's not intuitive, I think that's not fun. So I hope you guys like this. This is 
basically a feature that has been in Cubase forever. So I wanted to share this with you guys because this is, I think, um, you know, a big problem. You know, it's something that, you know, you want to make music. You don't want to click, click, click with your mouse all the time. This is just not 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 good and it's not fun so there you go guys this is the absolute fastest way to input chords inside your DAW I gave you three ways pick your poison they're all much better much faster and much more creative than just drawing every single note into your DAW even if you're using a different DAW it's really worth in my opinion grabbing a copy of even Cubase elements Do all your chord arrangements there and then move on to whatever you want. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you liked it, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and share this video with any producer friend that does the, you know, note by note. Okay, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.